Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you the, fir the um, first monster section of my Slayer Guide. Now, I have made it if I get part of the guide, which was pretty much an introduction, and it listed the tasks you should do and shouldn't do and explained reasons why, and I'll put an annotation for that in the top right hand corner if you do want to watch that. However, this guide is for Aberrant Spectres, and we'll be showing you the method to kill them, and it really it should explain for high levels and low levels. So, hope you enjoy. Right guys, so I need to show you the gear that you need to use. Now, bear in mind, obviously, I'm going for top gear right here. Now, the technique that you'll use if you're a lower level will be virtually the same. However, obviously, your, your gear will be limited to what you can use. So obviously, maybe not a rapier, maybe a whip instead. Maybe not, an, obviously not a condition escape. Maybe, but you want to have a try and get a fire cape if you sling. Or at least a soul war escape. Soul war escape cape will save you a lot of prayer. Then you just want to wear, pretty much, you just want to wear the best gear you can afford, right? That is pretty much it. And gold gloves are something that a lot of people don't actually use for slaying. How, because, like, of the fact that they're degraded and it's a nuisance to go get some more. So, you can obviously use barrow's gloves instead to save time. However, everyone should be able to get a defender. So, that is something you must have. Now, to kill a bear inspectors in this location, you must have a slayer helmet. Because to access the dungeon, you need a slayer helmet. And, really, if you're going to be slaying properly, you, you'll probably have a slayer helmet anyway. And the rest is pretty much just maximize what you can afford and get. Gear is pretty much common sense for most slayer tasks. And in the inventory, now, if you, if I look in my inventory, what I take on every task is I take this top row in my on my invent, so dragon claws, ferocious ring, ring of slaying, and steel titan scrolls. But however, obviously, if you're not using steel titan, unicorn scrolls or iron titan scrolls, the best familiar you can get. If you've got a good, decent fighting familiar, like a guy's a titan will even do some damage, and that's pretty helpful. And on the bottom row I have house turbs, so I can tell you back to Edgeville the bank quickly. And there's a um, summoning obelisk and an altar in my house, which is two things that would be very useful to have. Because they can help you waste, stop you having to find an altar or summoning obelisk or wasting pots to restore yourself. Then I have this dragon's medallion from, what's it called, Branches of Darkmire. Which will tell me the mutated blood valves when I get them tasks. Now that guy will probably be a while yet because it's M and I'm doing them in alphabetical order. But no, it's actually no. I've got them as blood valves. So it won't even be long. And then I've got cannonballs. Now another thing, you don't have to use a cannon. Like I take my cannon also on every, on in my invent all the time. However, a lot of people don't like to use the cannon because of the price of cannonballs. And that has actually checked because I know they've been crashing. So they might be a lot cheaper. Now the three sixty they were like nearly five hundred before, but they have crashed a bit. But it does. It, it is quite expensive. I understand. However, the guide is pretty much the same. Just do the same without a cannon. That's that's pretty much it. It'll just take longer. The cannon helps you and just speeds it up. You know. And then I've got this new thing, which I haven't used actually used for slaying before. However, this will be a very very good item to have when slaying, because of the fact to get back to your master instead of wasting charges on your ferocious wings. Because I've only got three in my bank. I don't like to use them to tell you straight back to Kuradel because it wastes them and then you keep them. So instead you can teleport with this, teleport to fight caves. Now bear in mind you must have done the new quest, which is the the fight kill quest. I'm not sure what the, what's the end of the kill or something, I don't know. And then obviously you tell you fight, kill, um, fight caves and this fairy ring right here and that'll tell you straight to Kuradel. Now you go in this, you go in this and you've got to type in the code BJQ, which I've always remembered by Blowjob Queen. Do you know why? I just always have. I think my friend said it sometime. Obviously, type, typing it in yourself manually takes longer. If I find it in here, oh, it doesn't matter, you know it's BJQ, you just one one on each. And click teleport. And I'll show you how to get a Kuradel, and then I'm going to show you how to do a Baron Spectres. So, you have had it here. You must fix this. You, you buy a few mushrooms in the GE, and you come here for spade, and you put them in there. It's easy as that. I'm sure you can easily look at that up on Rune Wiki if you're not too sure. And then you'll turn here, and Kuradel's here to get your task. So let's just say she gives me a Baron Spectres. I actually don't have a task, I'm going to get one while I'm here. Let's see. Spiritual Mages? Oh no! no I'm actually going to cancel it. I want <laughs> look. See how many points I've got because they might have been cancelling. <laughs> I'm so cool. I just, I unpermed quite a few because I wanted to change them. I'm quite a noob. And Greater Demons. Oh, I'm just going to leave them. That doesn't matter anyway. Right, to, so to get the Baron Spectres, the best way is. Obviously, when you're slaying, you should have a ring of slaying, and you can make these. You have to, I think, do you have to buy the ability to make them? I think so. And then you want to tell you a Simona in Polypin each. Now, this will tell you right in the Slayer Dungeon, almost right next to the Slayer Dungeon. So you tell you here, and you run a bit south, and you'll enter the dungeon. 
Now, you have to have a Slayer Hunter going here. If you do not, you will get hit for constant tens. And possibly higher the longer you stay, and I'm not too sure. And you want to run north. And if, if you're a low level, you may want to protect melee against the Bainty Banshees. Because he's just seen even just hit me for 66. Come on, no one hits fairy tales, how dare you. So then you run, so you go for the southwest to Red Paul, then northeast, and you'll see a Baron Spectres. And now you'll see on the top right of my screen, multi combat swords. And look at the amount of Baron Spectres around here. This is why this task, it'll literally take you 10 minutes. 10 to 15 minutes, obviously, it depends on your level, it could be longer if you're not using a cannon. Now, where you want to set up your cannon is about where I'm standing now, and then about, about there. About here where I'm setting up now. That's a perfect place to put it. And it doesn't really make too much difference in this case because of the so spread out and the far distance. Now, you, um, I use extremes because overloads, I just don't see as worth it for Slayer. Really not worth it. So you want to whack your best, pre you want to put free mage obviously because you can't tank this many of our inspectors at once. You want to steal your fighting familiar and you also want to drink your prayer renewal. Now, the reason I'm using prayer renewal is that it saves a lot of time. Um, it saves a lot of time. It saves a lot of prayers, is what I mean. And you will use less prayer pots, and I imagine it probably works out cheaper to use them than not use them. Now, another thing I want to mention is I've got my Slayer Helm charged. I probably should have mentioned this before. But to get it charged, you have to talk to Pick Up Sticks and Taffley. I'm not sure exactly where he is now because it's all changed. And you can, you can get it to enchant it, but you can't have more than one different type of enchanted helm at once. So you want to make it your Slayer Helm because what it does you put scrolls in it for only combat familiars and if I don't if I don't click spec myself watch it, my Steel Titan should spec eventually right yeah see so it just spec automatically and that's what it does it makes it use the scroll automatically every so often and that's yeah so it pretty much saves the amount of clicks I've got to do it doesn't really speed up the task and using a cannon here isn't too bad for this task even if you don't want to pay for the cannonballs, because you make up for it. As you see, there's a lot of herb drops on the floor. You get Rhinos, and you get a few other things like Runeful Helms. There's lots of herbs as well. There's an Aventor up there. I saw it before, but didn't pick it up. So really, the majority of the work is being done by your um, cannon anyway. So your melleeing doesn't really help too much. However, Steel Titan does help. Because if you see, it's a little boost. But you see, the amount of damage it can do very quickly. Obviously, it runs out of specs. And there's the Moonfell Helm, you see? Make quite bank loot in not too long here. So, it's, this task is pretty much easy. All you have to do, or auto retaliate on, obviously. And you can even AFK it, really. Yeah, it's Steel Titan should attack things automatically and use scrolls automatically. However, it won't use them as often as if you're clicking it. But you can just AFK it, and all you have to do is, every so often, just click Fill Cannon. But you probably want to be checking your drops if you want to pick up the herbs. Another thing I should mention is, you can bring a herbicide, which is a dungeoneering reward. I'm not exactly sure how much it costs. It's not too expensive though. And on this herbicide, if you right-click it, you can change the settings. And what it'll do is you can select different types of herb, and it has the list of every herb. You can select ticks or crosses, and if you tick the ones you want it to just burn. Now, what it'll do, it'll give you double the XP you'd normally get for cleaning it. And the ones you leave as a cross, it'll still drop the herbs so you can go and pick them up. So basically, what you want to do is leave the ones that are worth value. And then, so like these ones, Rhinos, Aventos, Dwarf Weeds. If you want to pick them up and make some, make some decent money while doing this task, then you want to leave them ones if you're going to go for the herbicide. But it, the herb lore XP actually does, does add up. I mean, there's a lot of herbs here and a couple of key herb lore XP tasks maybe. Don't know if that's pushing it. So, this, this task is as simple as this. It is really easy. Now, if you're not using a cannon or a, fam or a familiar, this is still a decent. This is still a really good place to kill them, because if you go to the Slayer Tower, it's normally packed. I'm not sure nowadays, but I, know, I remember back in the day it was always packed. But here it is perfect. There's tons of spawns, and generally every almost every world's empty. Maybe at peak times you might have to hop a couple of times because of people standing here with cannon. But you can go to the foot. There's a Baron Spectre's further northeast, and you can go and melee them ones pretty easily. And you may, like, I've only, I've took two sets of extremes. Doing it with this method with cannon should only take one less. It's such a short task. And also, don't forget to use your claws if it'll switch. You see that? I clicked it and didn't switch. 
Or is it worse? Go, go! Oh, that's disappointing. Go on, KO it. Thought so. So, I hope this has helped you with this task, guys. And the next guide will probably be out in about four or five days ish. And look at this, I picked up so many herbs I can't pick up my cannon. Great, now I'm stuck here forever! Fuck no. Thanks for watching, guys. See you later.